welcome back to my channel so i'm starting this vlog a little bit differently because as you'll have seen from the title today i'm getting a new car and i'm so excited this is literally my dream car um i ah i can't stop smiling because it's due to be delivered in less than an hour and i'm so excited i feel like nervous and excitement and just a whole mixture of emotions if i'm looking up there it's because i'm looking in my back mirror to see like if it's going to come up the drive because i'm literally waiting for it to be delivered so i'm so excited to get it so i am actually in fact getting an audi a1 which is my dream car um i've wanted an audi a1 for so long um i currently have a little smart car so as you can tell it is a massive massive upgrade and a difference and I just can't believe like how different it's gonna be to drive um, to like drive a car like this so I'm so excited about that I genuinely feel like this is gonna be like my first proper car I feel like this car um, has just been like to get me confident and to get me driving and to get me like on the road and now I'm pretty confident I'm a lot more confident than I was um, it's just time for a change I want some back seats and I want a few other things and you know it was just seemed like the most perfect car for me um, so I actually found this car on Auto Trader, and I'm getting it shipped over. Well, not shipped over. I'm getting it delivered over from Glasgow. So it really has been a waiting game. I paid for this car nearly a week ago. Um, I put a deposit down nearly two weeks ago, and I've been looking at it for like weeks now. Um, I actually haven't told really anybody as well. So my boyfriend and my dad know, and that is it. Nobody else knows. None of my family that actually lives in my house know. So it's going to be a massive surprise. Um, my cousin doesn't know so like none of my well, literally nobody knows none of my friends so i'm gonna like surprise people um this week like when i go and pick them up or see them and stuff i'm gonna surprise them so i am really really excited about that because literally nobody knows and no one would expect me to do this as well like this is not really in my character to just like get a new car like that so yeah i'm so excited honestly i just cannot wait so for now i'm literally just like sat waiting but i'm gonna give you like a little mini tour of my current car which is my smart car and then obviously i'll give you a tour of the new car when it does arrive um i'm so excited um i can't stop smiling so yeah let's give you a little tour of my smart and you can actually see like how different the cars are gonna be um so if anyone is interested in getting a smart car they are actually really great cars for, like a first car they're so so reliable and efficient on petrol um they are just real reliable cars in general like i've not had a problem with this at all um i got this really low mileage it was only like twelve thousand miles as well um when i got it i think so yeah i'm just so excited to get my new car but yeah i'm gonna give you a little tour of this one now this is my little car and this is what I see in front of me. So I have the smart logo and I have little diamonds everywhere because when I got this car, all I wanted to do was diamond it out. So that is what I have there. Cater, windscreen wipers and all that kind of like boring stuff. This car is actually really good because it comes with a screen, which is so good. I didn't think a car like this would have that, but it is actually really, really good and a part of the reason why I'm a little bit sad to see this car go go but i do have a screen in the new car as well but this is quite a decent sized screen and it's touch screen as well turn the car on so you can see so the the um to turn the car on it's actually here which is a little bit different and it turns on i've got my automatic gear stick um which i love um and it's amazing i love i have eco here as well so i can do start stop um i have two little cup holders which i just keep my chewing gum in and i have my uh where i put my charging lead is here which is also really handy and great i use that all the time so it straight away comes up with the radio but if i kind of x that i've got radio navigation see i've got bluetooth there as well music telephone video extras photo options there's so much you can do on here it's actually really good for a little car um, and i use this to just sometimes put like hang stuff on there or just like for decoration i've got my phone holder this is where i actually put my glasses so i put i have to wear glasses to drive and sunglasses so they're in there just because this car doesn't really have a lot of storage it obviously doesn't have any back seats or anything so all my storage is here um and then i also have this little mat as well where sometimes i put sunglasses on on my phone or like whatever is on there because it doesn't move on there which is really great and then i have my glove compartment which is absolutely rammed i won't lie there's so much stuff in here i have like tanning oils and moisturizer and stuff because when i go for sunbeds and stuff it's already in there i have masks tissues all that type of thing and um, then i've just got two side pockets where in here i just have like perfume um it's pretty basic this is what comes up 
as well on the dashboard so it's in neutral at the minute um, for nearly 15,000 miles on there um, so yeah it's absolutely it's such a good car um, and then I have obviously automatic windows as well so it is a really really good car like for what you get you get a lot um, these seats are pretty decent size as well and then obviously there is no back seats in this car so I just have the boot so I'm gonna get out and show you the boot and I'll show you the outside of the car as well it does need a clean so excuse that I mean it is pretty clean it's not the worst but it does need a clean but when I step out the car this is what you see so you can see everything a little bit better um, but it is honestly such a little car it's cute this is the car in a better light as well so you can see the outside it is such a cute car and I'll show you the front the front of the car it is so cute it's just like a perfect size really for like one person so i'm going to show you the boot this is the back of the car um it's just got the smart look to open the boot you have to push this little button here and then it flips up um, and this is the boot space that i have i just keep like gym stuff in here um and like general stuff like that that's just like some photo shoot stuff i haven't moved um so yeah it's like a decent boot space for like one person it does fit like food shopping and stuff in here i haven't really struggled except from like sending like big parcels and big boxes that's something i have struggled um, I did go for a night away and I managed to squeeze everything in but it was quite small. It's just something that I want to do is get like a bigger car so that's the main reason why I'm getting a new car. The car also has such a nice sunroof as well so you can see above me it's such a good sunroof and you can close it as well but it is really nice like it has so much more natural lighting in here and um, there's like a bit of shadow on my face but it does bring so much natural lighting in this car um but yeah i feel like i've kind of like gone through that now i've shown you my car um told you why i'm getting my new one but oh i just cannot wait i can't wait until it arrives just like a, this is all the build up right now me and my boyfriend are just so excited for it to arrive um so it should be here like in the next hour so when it is i'm gonna vlog hopefully vlog like it coming off the van or whatever like i don't even know what it's gonna be delivered like i don't know if someone's driving it or it's gonna come off a van or what i don't know but i'm gonna try film some um some of what's happening and then um obviously like gonna film the car um and then maybe we'll go for a little test drive and try it out hopefully i like it i really hope i do because oh my god i'm just so excited but i really hope i like it i hope it's good for me um because i'm not the best driver i'm like a nervous driver so i just really hope like it's not too big or anything but yeah fingers crossed so i'll see you guys soon hey guys so sorry for the sudden jump but it's actually the next day um i thought i would just pick up vlogging today because basically i got the car um quite late yesterday and it was the first time like driving it and getting used to it and stuff so i thought i'm just gonna like get used to it a little bit before i like show you guys so i can tell you guys like stuff about the car basically and the di and the main like differences between them so i got the car yesterday so i've got the keys i'm so excited obviously audi keys um so excited like it still like doesn't feel real um and i've had it for literally exactly a day now it still doesn't feel real um but i'm so excited um so yeah i don't even know where to start so i got it quite late i got it about six o'clock yesterday um and it was raining so much so i didn't really want to like vlog it when it was raining it's still like raining but not as much um so i'm gonna go out and show you the car in a minute yeah i'm gonna go out and show you it in a minute but i've been out quite a few times in it now. i think i've been out like three or four times in it getting used to it um it's completely different to my smart car obviously as expected there is a lot of things that are actually very different um it's an automatic um which my smart also was an automatic but the difference between them is crazy i think the main thing for me is getting used to like the size of the car even though it's not like a big car it's just getting used to like i used to have two seats now i've got like five seats so that is probably the main thing that i'm getting used to is like parking um and just stuff like that like i'm very very i've been very careful driving it because obviously i'm used to such a small car um another main difference is obviously like the speed like the power behind the car is just like crazy um i think out the most i've done is like 50 60 yesterday um and it's just the difference is just crazy like how i can set off like from before <laughs> in my smart car i can't even explain the difference like most of you guys have probably never even been in a smart car but i can't explain how bad and how slow um that car was like compared to this it wasn't a bad car it was fine for like a first car but it, the difference is just crazy like this car feels so luxury um and the best thing um that i actually discovered yesterday my boyfriend discovered 
was that the cars got heated seats and we had no idea like it wasn't on the advert or anything and usually like when that's on an advert it like usually it's on an advert that is the selling point and it wasn't even on the adverts like i knew that i wasn't getting it and yesterday we were just messing about like with the controls inside the car and we like felt our bums getting warm we were like what and i was like screaming i was like oh my god i cannot believe this car's got heated seats like what the hell um but yeah also i just want to say like i know this video is like completely different to anything like on my channel or anything like i'm not i don't ever do stuff about cars or anything but i just really wanted to like document this process i'm actually really proud of myself for like stepping out of my comfort zone and getting a new car stuff that i've wanted to do for ages and i thought it'd be nice to look black uh, look back on um and it's still like a bit of a vlog so yeah i'm gonna go and take you out to see the car now and how it stopped raining i'm gonna give you like a little car tour inside and out um and then i'm actually gonna drive to the gym later so i might possibly speak to you guys when i'm back but i'm not sure yet i'm not sure when i'm gonna end this vlog but i just really want to show you the car so let's go so just because this is my channel i've got to show you my outfit so these shorts are from sheen this top is from my brand princess chart it came with like a three-piece set this blazer is from jing <laughs> i need to sew the buttons back on um and then my trainers are dior i love them so much they're actually very very comfy now um so this was like my outfit for today even though it's raining it's actually pretty warm um but yeah i was so excited to show you my car so let's go so this is the car and i got it in this beautiful creamy white color um and i got the three door i literally love it so much so you can see what it looks like i'm getting a personalized plate but i'm gonna hide it just for safety reasons so you've got the four rings on the front it's like the cream the cream white color it's honestly so nice it's so nice i love it it just flicks up as well and in the boot at the minute i've just got my gym stuff umbrella just like shopping bags and stuff so i keep all that in but it's really good boot space as well which is crazy because ne i never had any boot space before it looks like when that outside of the car as well so you can see what it looks like in there it literally smells new it's crazy i want to keep it so spotless so i need to get a, i'm going to get a car hoover so i can like hoover all this stuff up all the time because i'm so paranoid i don't want any dirt in it um and then you just flick these up and these are the back seats so i'm yet to have anyone in there look at that like my boyfriend is so tall you can't even no one can fit in that seat um but yeah it's just great it's just storage love it so i think i'm gonna put like a blanket or something in the back i'm not sure but i need some ideas on like where to get cute um air fresheners and like earrings and stuff um but yeah that's the car so i am now in the car i'm so excited guys show you this car um i actually do like feel like this is my dream car um and it's just like getting used to it now like i feel like i'm definitely getting better like i'm definitely getting more used to it it's just like you know switching from a tiny car to like a bigger car and a faster car is like such a big thing um so yeah i'm gonna go and take you through like the inside of the car um so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn the car on and i'll show you all the inside the first major thing that is actually really different is the ignition is over here on the right which is probably very normal for a car but in my smart car it was over here so it is completely different so basically i just flip my key up and put it in there which is just so different oh yeah and also you've got to put your foot on the brake to start the car which again is completely different that is not normal to me but i guess that is normal to a lot of people um with an automatic so this is what comes up when i first get in the car so obviously time mileage uh, miles per gallon um uh speed um petrol um all that type of thing just like the standard thing um you've got your steering wheel as well um which is just i guess like a standard steering wheel but it's got all these buttons on here which i'm so excited about like this just feels so luxury to me the steering wheel itself just feels so nice and like smooth um it, yeah it's just so different so this button here changes this on here um i'm not sure oh these like go between them i'm still like obviously figuring everything out um and that's obviously up and down and then this button as well takes it to like car functions um so i'm not really sure about this much yet i haven't really used this i think this is for like calling people and stuff while you're 
driving and, and things um, and then on here this is a volume so you can see the volume goes up on there and it says entertainment volume that is your volume for sound this is um speaking so i think this is to call people and this is your navigation i'm not sure what this is i'm scared to like touch all these buttons and it start doing crazy stuff because i'm not really sure yet what i'm doing um so yeah we've got lights down here so obviously side lights and headlights are there and um, full beam i think you turn it towards you here um you've got your um window wipers there and back ones as well we've got cd player which i didn't have before sd card and um, this can also switch between on the screen so if we go to car here um, it changes it onto all of this or you could do like radio screen on there with all the details as well these are just like where that you want the air to come out of and like how much and cold or warm heating you've got de steamer you've got heated seats which i had no idea it had obviously you've got the gear stick so to put to move it you have to push it in and move it um but it's in park at the minute then you've got reverse neutral drive and sport which is completely different to me because usually i would never have in my old car i didn't have a pack or a sport i just had a neutral a driving reverse i literally just had these three so i haven't tried sport yet just because i haven't really needed to um but my natural instinct is to go from like reverse up into drive but this is up into park so i have to keep looking down at my gear stick um like when i'm reversing and stuff which i guess it's not the worst thing because it's not like i need to change gear when i'm actually driving but that is definitely something i needed to get used to i have two cup holders here as well um which i've just moved up from my other car put my chewing gum in there and i've just put my charger in there i'm in the process of getting a smaller lead so it's not like too messy because i want to keep it really clean in here um so that is like i guess the majority of like what it looks like in the front um you've got your glove compartment Apartment, which I've just got like tissues, tanning oil, um, my log book, um, air fresheners, hand sanitizer, that type of thing. Um, and then on this side as well, I've just got like perfume and my glasses. Oh, and I've got this little mat as well, which I transferred over from my other car. Oh, and I've got this little mat as well, which I transferred over from my other car, which I just keep my sunglasses on there. And this obviously just comes down. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much like all the front of the car. I just love it so much um i love it it's amazing and then obviously the biggest change is the back seat so this cushion i had in my old car so i've just put it in here for now um i don't know if i'm going to keep it there or move it but i mean no one's even gone in the back yet so i need someone to come in the back at some point um but this is just what it looks like in the back i haven't sat in there yet or anything but it looks like a decent space um just like standard back seats you've got this little middle compartment as well i guess it's kind of like quite basic inside but this bit is definitely like really really nice um you've got like bluetooth um and all that type of thing like as soon as i put my phone on um, spotify it connects you straight to the car it was really easy to connect to the car it was really easy to connect to the car as well which was like amazing because it's so annoying when you really can't um or it takes ages to do so yeah i think that's like most of the inside of the car while i'm in the car i'm just going to quickly go through like insurance and i guess like cost of the car because i feel like a lot of people are going to be like intrigued about that type of side of it so for cost of the car i'm not going to tell you guys exactly how much i paid for it just because i don't want to um but i paid for it outright so i paid it i guess in cash um um and i got it from a dealership so the dealership was like a seat dealership um and we found the car on auto trader it was actually shipped over well so it was on a van over from glasgow so i had to pay to get it um, brought over but i've been looking for an audi a1 for a long time and this was the best one that we've found um like mileage and year and like owners and all that type of thing this is the best one that we found um so this car has exactly thirty thousand miles on on it as well which is really good and it's a 2014 plate um i was looking for something between 2014 and 2016 for kind of my price range um so yeah i guess it was like the lower end of the year that i was looking for but they are the same model but like the years are the same nothing actually changes with the car it's just obviously a newer car um but this does have 
pretty low miles on it anyway so that's not really like a worry if it had a lot of mileage on it then i would be a little bit more worried but i actually found a really really good deal um, and we did actually question the price on the car because it is quite a low price um for what we've got i really couldn't find like anything else around this price um this was definitely under budget which i was really really happy with of course like really really happy with considering you've got to do like road tax insurance all that type of thing and i've still got my other car um until i sell that so i am selling that but i'm just deciding like whether i want to do it private or through like a car sales or something obviously i couldn't trade it in because this i had to get brought over um all the way from scotland um so yeah also i just want to say like i apologize if i sound like really unsure of what i'm talking about because i'm really not good with cars like i'm just kind of like making it up as i go along but i just want to include the facts because i know that like when i was shopping for my car and like when i actually put the deposit down on this car i was watching these videos non-stop i wanted to know what the car was like what to expect um what type of like model i was getting and like basically what i was going to expect um and how like people how like other girls dealt with going from a smaller car to like a faster car and a bigger car is basically why i wanted to make this video just give like my advice on it um and things like that even though it's a little bit different for me um so yeah the cost was actually really 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 good it was under budget um which was amazing because i guess this was like what i wanted to pay i think if it was anything over what i paid i would have done a finance option which was an option but i just thought like this is like i guess double the price of my old car so once i sell that i'll actually be getting a lot of money back um so it's not like a massive loss and hopefully i'm gonna have this car for quite a long time touch wood i really hope i can have this car for a long time i think because it has like a full mot it's never filled an mot it's always had its service it's got low miles it's not had many owners it's got a very good chance in the test of time so fingers crossed we should all be good so now we're talking about insurance so basically i passed my test in i think 2017 so i've been driving for about five years um and my smart car was my second car um so i've always been very lucky with insurance i don't know if it's where i live or like I don't know really it must be to do with that but when i first passed i was 17 and i think i got my first car about 18 19 um and my insurance was about 600 pound then um so my second car that was a ford uh, ka my second car was a smart car um and it was automatic so it was um definitely more expensive a lot more expensive than my first car um and my smart car um was about it was around about £600 to get insured for the year again. I've, I literally just renewed it like a few months ago and it was 400 so it dropped 200 in a year, which is really good. Considering I'm 23 now, um, it was £400 for the year on the smart car, which I literally just paid, so I'm getting um, the majority of that back. Um, so anyway, onto the Audi. Um, obviously, it's a faster car, it's a newer car, it's a bigger car, um, but my insurance for the year on the Audi was £540. £40, which is actually really really surprising to me i did look at it before obviously i bought the car so i knew what to expect um and i was expecting about 800 maybe even up to a thousand um but i was just so surprised like i couldn't i couldn't believe it so i now have one year of no claims um so next year i'll have two years so hopefully it might even bring it down a little bit more um because i'm hoping to have this car for a long time but i was just so shocked i couldn't believe that so i was really really happy with that because my boyfriend pays like I don't even know like 1.2 for his my brothers all pay a lot more than that for theirs so i'm just like so happy that i've got it so cheap the road tax so the road tax for the year was 30 pound which isn't bad again um on the smart it was free um so yeah 30 pound for this but i was expecting like a lot more so i'm really really happy with that i think i've got a really good deal um and yeah i'm just really happy with the cost and everything so far no regrets at all um probably the best purchase i've ever made i think i've answered like the majority of what i think i was going to say so if you've got any questions just leave them down below um and i will make sure to answer them in the comments because um i'll just do that once the video is up so that is going to be the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of a different vlog from me but i just really wanted to vlog this i'm so excited with the car um and once i'm more confident hopefully i'll be doing some drive with me because i couldn't really do like drive with me's 
in this smart car like it's just, it just didn't work so i'm hoping like in a few weeks when i'm more confident i can get a car mount um and do some proper drive with me's and like mukbangs and things like that i would love to do that so if you've got any video suggestions involving that then do let me know and if anyone knows where to get like a good car mount um for cameras as well do let me know because i need to sort all that out i need to sort so much stuff out still um but i'm also getting a personalized plate in a few weeks as well so i'm so excited i feel like it's just gonna be the best car ever so yeah thank you guys for watching i really hope you've enjoyed and i will see you in the next video